What's good boys? Today we're going to be evolving and using the Cursed Prince in Anime Defenders. Anime Defenders is a brand new anime tower defense game that just dropped less than a week ago on Roblox. If you guys have not played the game yet, then you're living under a rock because this game is huge! We're going to go ahead and show off what Cursed Prince looks like on Evo and what his damage looks like. And then we're going to do some trait rerolls. And then we're going to evolve this man and we're going to see how much better we can make our Cursed Prince. He's supposed to be one of the best Yay. units in the game right now. So, let's get into it. Let's go, Kanoki. Let's go, Kanoki. Right. Come over here. Come hither. We're gonna go ahead and jump into a little infinite run. We'll do. We'll just do Windmill Village. We'll do Windmill Village because it's a nice, pretty map. Lots of things to see. Lots of damage to be done. It's gonna be easy. This guy can carry us easily through wave 50 uneva. So I don't even think we even have to evo him. But we'll see how it goes. Curse Prince costs a thousand yen to place down, and on placement close to max level, he's doing already 769 damage with nothing else. Not even a good trait right now. So this guy does insanely good damage at the very beginning. If you guys get this as one of your first rules when you start the game, then make sure you keep him and level him up as much as possible. On upgrade 2, he's doing 1923, and on the next upgrade, he's already getting the next ability that he's going to be able to use, which is Cleave Slam. Oh, that damage goes up a lot. Boop. Yeah, he's doing 3,800 damage already, and honestly, that might not seem like that much if you played some other uh, anime tower defense games, but the units, the enemy units in this game are not like crazy overpowered so 3800 damage is a pretty decent amount like most legendary units won't even get to see this amount of damage That's it's pretty true. good i don't have any mythics yet i have not grinded this as much as Kare has Yikes. so i do not have any mythics I but yeah it's no but actually all of this myth all of this legendaries are trash they're all really bad all right, so on the next upgrade, he's going to be going up to Cleave Barrage. And so Cleave Barrage is a multi-hit, which is really, really, really good. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like here in a second. So now that we have Cleave Barrage, you'll be able to see that when he attacks, it's like a... There's a lot of stuff he's hitting. It's huge. And uh, it's really, really nice for the shield enemies. So whenever they come out with a shield around them, that's obviously... Bro, it's like six hits or something. I don't know how many hits it is, but it's a lot of hits. And uh, when you have like all three down, because three is the max placement, then you know this, this guy is destroying the game. And uh, just to show you, the unit cap right there is three. All right, I'm gonna place the Rockstar girl so that we can get some more money, and uh, we'll catch you guys in a second once we can get some more money to, to upgrade these guys. Okay, so we have enough for the next upgrade. He's going up to 7,000 damage on upgrade six, and on the next uh, upgrade, he's gonna be getting the Fire Arrow which is going to put him at 8,654 damage, and this is also a multi-hit, I am almost positive. Unfortunately, it's not full AoE, but honestly, I don't think you really need a full AoE on this guy, because he does burn damage too, which isn't, actually, he does bleed damage, I'm sorry, no. He does bleed damage, but on the last upgrade, he does burn damage. And now that he's going to get the flame arrow on his last skill-based upgrade, then he's going to be able to do burn damage now, I am almost 99% positive uh let's go ahead and wait for him to do some damage here hello buddy 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 bruh bro took 15 years to do that attack but look at how sick it looks that looks really cool but I, he, just, he just killed well, them all he killed them all in one tap so i guess we i can't prove to you that he does burn but i promise you he does burn damage you gotta take my word for it and uh, we almost have enough money to do... Oh, look, this you guy. There it is. You there is the burn damage. Now my man's just doing some burn damage. There it is. Kanoki was right. All right, I think this is it. That looks really cool. I like it a lot. Yeah, that attack is really, really, really cool. They put a lot of effort into this. And so this is his next upgrade. Does 14,000 damage. And his last upgrade would be upgrade 11. It costs 12,000. But he goes up to 16,000 damage, That's which a lot of upgrades. It's pretty good. Yeah, he's got a lot of upgrades, so it costs a lot of money to get him fully leveled up. Uh, for the story modes, I normally only get him to the fire arrow upgrade, which I'm pretty sure is the third skill-based upgrade. Uh, you guys don't really have to go any further than that for story. If you're doing infinite, then obviously this guy is going to tear it up. He's doing really, really good. But this is honestly nothing because we're about to go evolve him and get a better trade on this guy. I hope, I pray to the anime defenders gods that we're going to get a good trade right now. But I don't know. Let's find out. We're out of here. I don't even care about the gems. We're going to go find out right now. So something you guys may not know is that if you click up here and you go to statistics, it shows you a bunch of stats about this game. So... I've been playing this game a lot. It came out literally three days ago, and I already have a day and 11 hours. Half the time that this game has been out, I have been playing it, 
and I can tell you from personal experience that this is hella hard to grind. You're gonna, if you really want to do well in this game, you literally, when the, when the time goes to like zero zero, then like, sorry, I said that kind of weird. Like if it's like one o'clock, then what you want to do is check the banner, see if there's a good unit. If there's no good unit, then you come over here and you go ahead and do all three of these challenges. When you're done with the challenges, you have to go over here to play and you have to do infinite until you finish doing up uh, up to 50 waves and that's gonna take you about another 30 minutes and by the time you're done doing those challenges and summoning if there was a good unit on the banner then an hour has passed and you redo that every single hour until you get overpowered and so that's essentially what I've been doing for a long time we've spent 32 hours in this game to finally be able to do this I already crafted the thing we need so let's come here let's grab our cursed prince and let's Let's do it. That's it. Curse Prince, you are now evolved. Let me see. Let me see. Can I bring it up? Can I bring it up? Inspect this man. Oh, L stats. I was hoping to get better stats. Before this, I think I had an A minus, A minus, and C plus. So I guess it's yes. not the worst. But we have A, A plus, and B minus. Not the best stats, but I'm worst. definitely, I'm definitely happy with them. Let's come over here and let's see if we can get a better trait. Cause right now I have Prodigy, which if you guys don't know what Prodigy does is it increases the amount of XP he gets so he levels up faster. But I'm done with that. We have 69 rerolls. It's the magic number. I don't think we need a, a single one more. Magic number, he said. Brawler one. Yikes. Wow, it's the wor we got the worst possible one. It's literally 7.9. It's the highest percentage chance one. Uh, it's yeah. pretty tough. There, there's actually not that many good traits in this game that I've seen so far. The best one is like the unique of this game, which is Almighty, and it triples the damage and all that stuff. And then there's Requiem, which is the next hardest one to get, but it only does 20% damage. So mm. I feel like they're gonna have to add other traits or change these things around because it's kind of ridiculous that it's 0.2% chance to get 20% damage, they and then 0.1% chance to get 280% damage. Like. Yeah, that's not... That's kind of weird. Kind of weird. Some things are not adding up. Hunter 3? What's Hunter 3? What does this do? Range by 15%? No. Bye-bye. Critical 2? Nah. Bullseye 1? Oh, nah. Oh, let's see what that is. Let's, let's, let's oh, it, say, it says it might be good. So let's see. Bullseye increases range by 25%. Okay, that's not horrible. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. Do you think I should keep it? It's 2.5%. So sad, it's two and a half percent and all uh, I got was 25% range. The only reason why I would say probably keep it is because the next the, the next one above that that has even lower percentage, it's for a uh, XP, the one I just had. No no no, but I mean like for Oh for minus like, touch? Yes, like, oh yeah, it's a money unit thing. Exactly, like you have high, higher chances of getting a money unit then rather than getting something actually good. Yeah, honestly, I might keep this for now. If you guys think I should reroll, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll we'll say bye bye. It. We'll have it I'll set up by bye next bye. time. But that's enough of that for now. Let's go back into another infinite now and see how much damage this guy's doing. Evoed. Oh, and I gotta re-equip him. I almost started this infinite without having this guy on my team. You see my pleasure. I did that. Boom! Alright, we'll do we'll do Mob City this time, just you know. To change it up. Why not? Have a new map. I definitely though I wish that they would have dropped with more maps and that each map maybe had one less um round. One less round. Yeah, because I think there's six, no, for each. Oh yeah, there's six waves for so each. So if wow. you gave me Look at this range, Kanoki. This is huge. Oh, that's a pretty good range. Oh my god, so on placement, my man's is doing 870 damage. That's up from 670 before, so he's doing like 200 more damage, and that's literally what all I did was evolve him, which, so that's pretty good. Upgrade number two, he's already up to 2200 damage, and then, four, wow, it doubles again? Bro, hold on, I might have to place a second one here just in case. Uh, so let me go ahead and grind some money, I'll make sure we have plenty of money, and then we'll go ahead and go through the upgrades so you guys can see how OP this guy really is. Now it's time to upgrade again. So we're going to be doing upgrade number three next, and he's going to be going to the next attack. Which is Cleave Slam. Cleave Slam. All right. So it's the same Four one as before. It did like almost twice as much damage. So on upgrade five, we get the next attack. Which is Cleave, Cleave for us. And it's the same one as last time, so nothing crazy. What I really want to see is that they're going to add a new move to the end of this. So fire oh, arrow. arrow. Yeah, same one. Then, Flame arrow. once again, that's 10,000. Bro's doing way more damage, by the way. This guy, this is the last upgrade he got last time, so let's go ahead and click it. Oh! Dimension ex expansion! Domain expansion, boys! It's Domain. time! He's I gonna be doing so much damage! Bro! Bro! 
He was doing like 16,000 before and he's doing 18,000 at this upgrade. Lot. That's really nice. That's honestly amazing, but I swear to I thought you messed up and that it said domain expansion, but you read dimension expansion. But I'm like, oh no, it says dimension expansion. I'm like, oh. Exactly, because this is anime defenders. This isn't Jujutsu Kaisen, you know. We gotta be. Exactly. The I like this it. is definitely not uh, Sukuna, by the way. If you guys thought this was Sukuna, this, this is, is not King. Sukuna. This is Curse King, and this is someone from uh, another anime. It, no, not even an anime. It's a, it's an original character created by the creator. Yep, original character. Totally not a copy. Definitely not from any anime that we've ever seen before. Of and uh, can you? I've never seen this man in my life. You think you could give me four grand though? Maybe three grand, so I can go ahead and expand my dimension already. I want to see what this does, bro. That attack's gonna be epic. Hold on, come on, come on. We're almost there. Let me do it. They should let you spend money on some on some on someone else's unit. I have so much money that I could, <laughs> I could pay it. Kanoki just balling out like that, but it's time. So, domain expansion, boys. Done. That's the last Ooh. upgrade. He's got 38 range with the bullseye trade. So keep that in mind that he's got 25% extra range. But, dude, can Nine I? Nine seconds. That's not that bad. Not that great, What's the attack? I'm... That's not the attack. It oh my god, is that the attack? It's endless! Bro, that was like 20 hits! What? Oh, this is it! This is the attack! Bro, what is that? Dude, this guy is so epic! 21k it's... damage! Bro, that is so much damage, you that have no idea. So cool. I'm pretty sure that the highest damage I've seen on a mythical that's unevoed is for Garp, and Garp does, I think, like, I don't know, 20,000 damage? Not even. He does less than that. He does like 18,000 damage, which is still a lot, but Jesus, man. If you guys are interested in seeing the Evo for Garp, actually, that's going to be the next video we post, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Should be going up the day after this one. So, uh, so th that is the Curse King, bro. That's his that's expanded amazing. dimension. Bro's summoning the most ugly demon on the planet. Make sure you don't get attacked by that because, uh... Ugly. Death. Don't look at it on the eye. You're going to turn into stone. Bro, I'm going to... Stop it! You can't do it, because you can't turn to stone because you have the glasses. Ah! <laughs> Alright boys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. We appreciate you for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for all of our Anime Defenders content. We're going to be live streaming this game too, so make sure you check out our live streams. Make sure to subscribe if you like the video. Make sure to hit that like button. It really helps us out a lot, way more than you could ever imagine. And wish me luck so that I can get a Mythic soon. <laughs> Let's all pray for Kanoko. We pray to the Anime Defenders gods! And with that, we'll catch you next time. Peace!